What's up guys, today I have a pretty cool video to share with you. I'm going to be showing you a phone service that you can use that's totally free, lets you make unlimited phone calls, and it even has an extra feature where you can change your caller ID to whatever phone number you want. Now that opens up a floodgate of pranking possibilities, but you can of course use this for legitimate purposes. So if you think you're interested in something like that, then stay tuned for this video. I'm going to show you how to set this thing up. It's very simple. So let's just get started. All right, so here we go, guys. The name of the service that I'm showing you guys today is FireRTC. You can go to their website, FireRTC.com. And this is what we're going to be using today. So it's as simple as going to their website and hitting create an account. You're going to sign up here with your email. You're going to make up a username and set a password. And then when you sign up, it's going to send you an email um, that you confirm your account. And then from there, you will be able to make phone calls. So I'm going to skip over to that section because I already have an account. All right, so here it is, guys. I signed in and this is the user interface here. You can obviously start typing in a phone number and calling it that way or you can power off and log out by clicking that button. This button here is your recent phone calls and then this switches back to the dial. So what I want to show you is that you can actually use this to create your own caller ID number. To do that you go to these bars up here and click settings. It'll bring you to a page like this, and as you can see, Edit Caller ID is right here. You can set this phone number to whatever you like. So in this area, you can type your own phone number if you plan on calling people you know and actually using this service legitimately so that people can know that it's you calling them and they'll answer. So by default, I think you'll have a random phone number typed in here. Right now, I'm just going to type in a fake phone number. All right, so I'm going to use the number 123123 just to test it out and show you guys it works. After you type in your number, you just hit save and you'll see that settings are updated. You just need to reset your phone. You can click this again and click on phone. And just to be sure that the new caller ID went through, just hit refresh. One thing to mention is that this only works with Google Chrome, Firefox, and Opera web browsers. So it won't work with Microsoft Edge. So just take note of that. So right now I'm gonna call myself. and definitely blur that out. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm getting a call right now. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that works perfectly fine. I could pick it up right now, but there'd be a lot of echoing and stuff like that going on. But I'm just gonna end the call. And yeah, it's as simple as that, guys. So one thing that I want to tell you is that the caller ID spoofing thing right here can be very dangerous if in the wrong hands. So imagine that I learned your name and learned what bank you have. Then I look up on Google that bank's phone number. And let's say it's in your contacts list. And I decide to call you from that number and pretend to be a bank teller is telling you that they're noticing suspicious activity on your account and they need to confirm your social security number or your birth date or random security questions. The odds are for most people that they would actually give that information over because they saw that the caller ID was coming from their bank. So now that you know that this type of thing exists, it's called caller ID spoofing, definitely be careful with giving information over the phone like that. Another thing to be aware of is Earlier when I was testing this with my friend, I called him with his phone number, thinking that his phone would ring with his own phone number as the caller ID. And instead, it did two things. Number one, it started to allow me to access his voicemail account. And number two, it kicked him off of the phone service in general. So because I was using his phone number, it thought that he was actively on a phone call, so therefore his phone was not able to make phone calls. So that would be called a denial of service attack, which is frowned upon, and I don't recommend you do that. So if you guys are worried about setting your caller ID to a phone number that might actually exist, there's a website here called fakenumbers.org where you can get a randomly generated phone numbers that aren't in service right now. 
so you can actually legally use them without affecting anybody else negatively. So I recommend you do that if you don't plan on using your own phone number. So this particular phone service can be used on any computer, so PCs and Macs. You're good to go as long as you have Google Chrome, Firefox, or Opera web browser. And here is a tutorial on their website teaching you how to get it on your Android phone. So it's very simple. I'll leave a link to this below. Pretty much the only thing you can't get this on is an iOS device, unfortunately. I couldn't find a way to use it on my iPhone, so if I do use it, I just use my computer. So that's going to be it, guys, for today's video. I thought it was something cool that I wanted to share with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will put two videos on the screen here that you guys can click. The one on the left will be showing you how to set up a VPN on your computer. And on the right is a video about how to keep your passwords safe from hackers.